Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. In this video I'll show you how I can play PlayStation 2 games on my DAX setup. It's not quite easy to get PS2 games running on DAX. Uh, and I am not actually running PS2 games on the DAX. So sorry for uh, disappointment. What I am doing is I'm using the cloud gaming service Shadow as my virtual Windows 10 machine. And I do have PlayStation 2 emulator installed on the Shadow for me to play PS2 games. So right now, while I was yapping, I connected to my Shadow cloud gaming service. So I have all the Windows games like GTA 5, Euro Truck Simulator 2, Path of Exile. I do have like Might and Magic. 8 and wizard dry 8 and etc and i do have the ps2 emulator pcsx2 version 1.4.0 so let's run this up and right now it's loading and this is playstation 2 emulator how to get playstation 2 emulator well i used the tutorial by youtuber simple austin so we'll leave a link to that video for you to go and check it out please note that the video is about just over the hour in length but believe me every minute is very important for you to watch because when i watched it he explains how to set up ps2 emulator on your windows machine in such an easy way that believe me you will be able to follow this without any problems so we'll leave a link to that video for, uh, from simple austin in my video description below so go and check it out and now I'm going to demonstrate to you how the PS2 games running on the shadow while they've been streamed to my decks. And I do believe I am connected to Ethernet cable, not over Wi-Fi. Right. Um, one thing I noticed when he was showing you this setting, proper, setting up process, he obviously was doing this on the Windows machine. And he had the Xbox 360 USB controller connected to his machine when he was demonstrating certain PS2 games. I do have Xbox One Bluetooth controller, which when I plug in on here is then the uh, Xbox One input signals being passed to Shadow. So Shadow PC takes this as the normal gaming pad. But one thing I notice if I go to settings, and by the way, all these settings, go and check it out, Simple Austin's video. You will know exactly what all these settings means. I'm just gonna go to controller and Lily pad plugin settings. Inside here, I go in pad one, and this is where I have input X input pad two for some reason, and under pad two, I have X input pad one. This is where the confusion sometimes happens. So as example, if I go to press this and press L1, now, as you can see, it's changed that. So it's changed from input pad one to, it's basically, it's not always working straight away. So I just need to take this off, disconnect the controller, connect back in. So I'm turning the controller again, waiting for this to connect to my DAX, then connect to the shadow and shadow will get the signal up and running. And one thing I'd like to point out that it's not always that easy. It sometimes happens, sometimes don't. So it says Xbox controller has been unplugged. Fantastic. So what we're going to do, we're just going to kill the Bluetooth. And we're going to turn the Bluetooth on again. So we're going to wait for controller to get connected. Let's go back into the A with Shadow PC to this app. I click here and I click F1. And now it's X. X oh my goodness. It is a bit messed up. So we're going to close that. Let's close all that. Let's start again. Like I said, if I had the just direct connection, actually I can. I can, sorry, I can. I'll grab my Xbox 360 controller. Which one? Where is it? I do have Xbox 360 controller. Here we go. I do have Xbox 360 all controller. So we're going to use that. So I'm going to make sure that my shadow PC is connected to zero tier. So we, we're just going to run zero tier on the decks. Connect both of them into the same local network. I'm going to take my Xbox 360 USB connection, plug that into my hub. Uh, yes, uh, yes, run that. So now virt virtual here, open this up, 
Yes, yes, pass all the all my USB connected devices to virtual here. Let's go back into my shadow PC. Let's run the virtual here. Right, so this is all my devices. Now, now controller, double click. And technically right now, this is the signal of Xbox 360 is being passed all the way to uh, my virtual machine. So if I go into here, and hopefully it's detected as a pad one. Yes, it's detected as a pad one. So now I need to just get this all set up. And the fun begins because <laughs> I need to map this to PS2 settings. So if you just give me a second, so square, so square will be this. The circle will be this, the triangle will be this, the circle will be this, the cross will be this. Right, uh, select, yes, start, yes, L1, L2, R1, R2, R3, yes, L3, yes. And now let's get the left stick, uh, set it up. Okay, and right stick up, down, left, right, and D pad up, down, left, right. So I do believe I have all this set up. So if you close, and now I am ready to play the game. I do have three games selected I have uh, Gran Turismo 4, I have Shadows of Colossal, and I have a Final Fantasy 12. We're gonna start war from GT Gran Turismo 4. So Gran Turismo 4 ISO file has been selected. I click boot. Okay, it's running. I go full screen. And I have Gran Turismo 4 running inside the shadow, which has been streamed to my decks. So we just need to make sure. Hopefully this control is still working because it's very old. And I mean I, I threw threw it around this controller. It's probably some buttons right now will stop working. So, loading, we do have sound coming through, but I quickly will try to go into settings and um, disable the music because I don't want to get penalized by YouTube because I am playing the, um, the music, the audio. So, come on. So, uh, sound, yes. Uh, the race music will go all the way to reply, replay music all the way to, and this is all the way. So, I do believe there is no more music will be played. So, menu music down as well. Okay, so okay, back exit options, and we're just gonna run arcade game. Um, so let's see how it goes. So we'll go to arcade mode, race. We can put the, let's do a city cruise. Uh, yeah, New York will be fine, normal. Let's pick up at the car. Let's choose BMW. Uh, cancel. Okay. My D-pad is messed it up. I do feel the yeah, the D pad is not not working. So let's pick the uh, metallic, and we are ready to go. Yes, it's PlayStation Two game emulated inside the shadow, and then I everything is streamed to my decks. So it's not running on the decks uh, like natively locally, but still, this is another. Another amazing plus from me to a DeX that, especially my tablet at six, I can do right now even more with that. I can play PC games, I can play uh, NES games, I can play PlayStation 1 games, I can play PlayStation 2 games, and it's just the gift that keeps giving. Okay, so let's, let's go. Okay, it's a... Do I, oh, it's a sh very sharp left. Do this break, 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 break. Break. Let's go. 
And right, I did all the way at the top. I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up. There are small numbers here on the left hand side at the top of the window. And it's telling me slot zero, speed 100% at 60 FPS, 59 to 60 FPS. And it's running at 640 by 448 pixels. So it is like PlayStation 2 game, it's nothing super, super uh, high graphics. But okay, this is. Uh, Right, let's go. Whoa. Okay, so Gran Turismo 4. I'm playing Gran Turismo 4. That's fine. Let's close this game. So boom. And the game is closed. Why I done this? I'll try to set this up. There is a game on PlayStation 2 by the name of Final Fantasy 12. And the story behind it, years ago, I was a proud owner of PlayStation 2. And I owned the copy of Final Fantasy XII. And that game was absolutely amazing for me to play. I spent hours playing this game. And since then, especially with the decks, I always thought how I can get this game emulated. Doesn't matter which way, I just want to see this game on my screen and this is the way I can actually play this game finally and if I go to selection I'll choose Final Fantasy swap the disk system reboot yes it's telling me that the previous virtual machine of PlayStation 2 of Gran Turismo 4 will be killed and the new one will start that's fine so I'm waiting for this to get killed and my Final Fantasy 12 game finally I will be able to play with my deck setup. Extra things I needed to use as well. Oh my god! I, seriously, I'm 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 really chuffed that this is this is working. I still own the the game. I still have the game inside the box at my home back in Lithuania. I still own this game. Obviously, since I don't have a PlayStation 2 anymore, so it says my screen. Uh, actually, let's, yeah, uh, okay. So, start the game. And, right. This is, by the way, first time I'm starting this game. This is, you. what you're seeing now, I'm seeing the first time as well. I just got this ISO file and I not really try to run it but from what i can see on the stats on the top left hand corner it's running quite well it's doing 59 to 60 fps and speed is 100 percent so shadow pc is not only the most powerful windows gaming pc for your steam games and origin games and blizzard games i can emulate my favorite playstation 2 game as well so let's wait, let's wait, come on, come on, let's start. Here we go. Oh my goodness. T okay, tutorial, right, yeah, I need to look around. Yes, next I think is gonna be move. Yes. Yes. Now it's probably gonna tell me to go speak to the, the yes, to the soldier. Oh my God, so many memories. Okay, go to Iron Gate. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, approach Iron Gate and press X. Okay. Yeah, it just basically gave me a tutorial how to open the gates, but well done, well done. And right, it because it's running on the Shadow PC, our gaming PC, this game, I can play this game on this. I can play a game, this game on this. Obviously I can play a game on the Tab S6, on Note 9, on the Shield, in the deck setup in the car, anywhere where I have access to my Shadow Gaming PC, I can play this game, right? Oh, red line indicates that he's gonna about to attack me. Yes, 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 yes. Potions, blah, blah, blah. I'm pretending that I know what I'm doing. So attack. And everybody just came in to help me. I mean, like it's four against one or five against one. But anyway, 
that's fine let's go it should be attack on the on the castle i think captain yeah attack on the castle if i remember correctly it actually was a bigger ship if from my memory it was a bigger ship attacking the castle Hmm. Boss. Fantastic. Right, attack. Okay. I don't really like like step by step um RPG games, but this one is the best one. Yes. Let's kill the boss. Anyway, Final Fantasy 12 running on my decks. I can't, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. This is how I play PS2 games. All my decks. If you want to get that set up for yourself as well. You need to have a gaming PC or you need to own the Shadow Cloud Gaming Service and follow the link that I will leave in the description below and the link will take you to Simple Austin's tutorial how to set this up on your PC and then you can play PS2 games on your decks and it's running 100% speed I mean no clutter it's running at the original developers coded speed so it's, it's emulating perfectly thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video let me know comment section below what else you want me to do what else what other things you want me to test on the decks or with the usb connections anything related to mobile computing and i'll come back with another video shortly thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next one goodbye